I hope all of you are doing well. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're looking here at two double integral procedures just to show you a flavor with regards to improper integrals. You know type 1, type 2. Type 1 are those where the limit, one or both of them, is involving infinity but there is no vertical asymptote or discontinuity involved. In type 2, you have a discontinuity involved in asymptote with regards to your limits. Let's start here with this question which is a type one. Let's start with the graph. Since we're only looking here in the positive aspects, we have a graph which looks like this from one. We're looking all the way up to infinity and this is the area below the curve for which we want to determine based on double integrals. There's nothing wrong when you're doing double integrals to do an initial dy with respect to dx and that's what I want to do. It's a type one improper integral because you have one limit which is infinity. How would you go about setting this up? If I'm doing initially dy with respect to dx, I know I'm looking here from a lower y limit of 0 and then upper limit here of 1. If I put 1 here, I get a 1 output and it's going to be like this. The 0 limit in terms of the dy is going straight and it's not modifying. From this starting point right here, as you track this upper limit, it's going along a curve. Because we're going eventually with respect to dx, equation should be in the y equals format and it is and that becomes your upper limit with dy as the independent variable but then eventually we take it to dx from 1 up to infinity and that would be our double integral for this improper procedure that we have going on. You can formalize it by saying limit as t approaches infinity and then you're looking from 1 up to t, you have 1 over x squared 0 dy dx. The antiderivative from here is just a y, you do the upper, the lower, you'll just get a 1 over x squared and that's easy, limit as t approaches infinity, you end up seeing t1 and then 1 over x squared dx. Antiderivative here is a minus 1 over x, you have everything from t and 1, you can compute this, the t, the infinity coming in here will zero out, you'll have a minus minus 1 which is a positive 1, and that would be the area of all of this shaded region. It would be equal to a 1. But we've done it by means of double integral procedure and it should be right. And you can see I did initially dy and I took it along the dx limit from 1 up to infinity and it's good. The outcome is good. Our second question is going to be this where we will look at an example of a type 2 improper integral but we will handle it by double integration. 1 over x plus 1. You know if you do the zero of this denominator, you're getting a x equals minus one. That is your vertical asymptote, x equals minus one. If you make x equal to zero, you have a y-intercept of one, zero comma one. You know there's a horizontal asymptote here, y equals zero. Your area below curve is from two going up to this asymptote value of minus one. Remember at any time you have rational function, don't blindly integrate. See if a vertical asymptote is involved with regards to your limits. How do you go about setting this up? I'm thinking in integral dy with respect to dx. Lower limit here is zero, upper limit here infinity. But look what would happen. If I'm doing with dy, I know obviously zero is the lower limit. But as I'm coming along from infinity in the direction of the dx integral, I'm tracking down the curve. Since I'm going eventually with respect to dx, my equations here should be y equals format and they already are. Because I'm tracking from positive infinity down towards the x-axis, I'm going along the curve, that is your upper limit. Then you're going from a lower limit, minus 1, with respect to dx, up to 2. This right here is a problem because it's an infinite discontinuity involved here. You can formalize everything here. Limit as t approaches minus 1 from the right. You have a t, you have a 2, 0, 1 over x plus 1, dy and dx. That's my double integral for this representation. The antiderivative here is a y. Upper limit, lower limit, 1 over x plus 1 will become the input for your next integral. And you see it right here. Limit as t approaches minus 1 from the right, t2, 1 over x plus 1, dx. You can do u substitution. u is equal to x plus 1. You know obviously what it is. du is equal to dx, u1 and u2. Everything with regards to here, u1 will be t plus 1. You remember t here is originally a minus 1 u2 is a 2 plus 1 which is a 3. Everything becomes this limit as t approaches minus 1 from the right, t plus 1, and then 3, 1 over u du. Antiderivative natural log u. We're looking at it from 3 and t plus 1. You have natural log 3 minus natural log t 
t plus 1. When you put the t value in, you have here a natural log t minus natural log of 0. Natural log of 0 is undefined. Some will say it's in infinity, it's undefined because if you look at the natural log curve, it's looking like this, but in the direction of minus infinity, your curve is going towards there. Anyhow, undefined minus infinity, infinity, it's still not finite value. This right here cannot overcome that. The end result of this is your integral is divergent. You cannot get a finite value of this area represented by means of the shaded region from minus 1 to 2. This is a double integral type 2, but the end result is it's divergent. I've shown you in this video two questions, type 1 and type 2, both by means of double integral and both where I went from a dy with respect to an eventual dx. Thank you. Have a good day.